What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another video. Today, as you can see, that we have a weather API open. What we're going to do is we're going to collect some data from the weather API based on city. So we're going to write a Python code where it will be asking for a name of city, any city, because this API, I think it covers almost every single city in the world. So most probably it will work anyways. So you're going to name input the name of the city and what will happen is it will fetch you some data from the API and you're going to see our in, in our case we're going to find the temperature of that place and maybe the description of the weather forecast. So without further ado, let's get started with the video. As you can see that we are in openweathermap.org slash API. I'm going to leave a link, or I mean, I'm going to leave this link down in the description below so that you can find it easily. What you need to do is when you go here, you can see this current weather data. You just need to subscribe to this. And once you subscribe to it, you can go for the free get API key, this one. And once you have it, then you need to just convert the email. And finally, if you go to this my api keys you're going to find your api key just once you click on this okay so now as i'm going to code i think i'm going to take my camera off and i will come back after the video okay so i'm gone all right so now the first thing that i'm going to do is i'm going to create a directory which is called maybe let's fetch weather let's name the project fetch weather and you're going to get inside this all right, so first thing that I'm going to do is I think I will be needing a virtual environment because I'm going to install some Python packages. So what I'm going to do is write Python minus n venf. venf. So venf is the name of the virtual environment that we're going to create. So once this is created, what I'm going to do is I'm going to activate it anyway. So let's just wait for it. Okay. So the virtual environment has been created. If I go to NLS, you can see that we have the virtual environment or the Venf folder that is the virtual environment. So as I'm using PowerShell, the way to activate it is just go to this Venf scripts, activate. If you're using a Linux system or maybe a Mac, so instead of the scripts, as you can see here, you need to use bin. So if I click enter, it's activated. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to install some packages. So the first thing that I need is requests. I also need .env. So that is Python .env. And I think I'm going to need autopep 8. Um, this is actually not necessary, but I'm as I'm using the Vim editor that's why this is necessary for me otherwise you can do it without you can use without it so if i try and install okay so these things have been installed what i'm going to do is i will be having a requirements.txt file so what i'm going to do is i will do a pip freeze requirements.txt and there you go if i do an ls you can see that we have the requirements.txt file and if you want to see it then maybe there you go. This is the requirements.txt file. So we can actually install the packages with this instead of writing each name individually. Okay. Now, once we have this, let's move on. Okay. So as you might have seen that I have installed .env, that means I'm going to use some environment variables. So basically, I will be putting two things in the environment variables. First of all, I will be using the API key that I have shown you how you can create it and get yours. So that will be placed in the environment variable files or placed as an environment variables in the .env file. And another one is the base URL in which we are going to get or fetch the data. So I'm going to open a .env file. Okay. So in this file, I will have a PA key and I will have a base URL. So I think I'm going to copy the base URL first. Okay. So this is the base URL and I'm going to paste the API key as well, but I think 
instead of mine, you're going to use yours because you can create one for free and you can use yours. So yeah, I'm going to paste my one. Okay, so I have that .env file. If I do an ls, you can see that, yes, there you go. I have that .env file from myself. Now, what I'm going to do is I will have the I will name a file, maybe script.py or whatever you want to name, but in my case, I'm naming it script.py. So, yeah. So, at first, we're going to import requests. We also need OS because we want to fetch the environment variables from .env. We're going to import load.env. So, with this, we are going to, or this package is going to check if there is a .env file and what are the environment variables. And with that, it will be loading all this. So, this by this function, this will load all the environment variables and we are going to use it. So, now you can see how we are using it. First of all, we have the API key. And for that, we need to do os.getenv. And inside that, we have API key, which was like declared in the .env file and the other one is the base url so in this case also we are going to do env and we will be using the base url okay now first as i said that we are going to have an input where we're going to provide the name of the city so let's do enter the name of the city. Okay. So this is an input. Then the request URL. This will be something like first we will have the base URL which we have declared. URL. After that we are going to have app ID and this will be referring to the API key. And inside that we are going to have query, it refers to query, and the query is, the, the value of the query will be the name of the city, and according to the name of the city, the data will be fetched. So, this is the request URL, and now we are going to have the requests package used, so the response will be requests dot, we will have the get method, so this will be fetching the data request URL. Okay, so from this response, we are going to get, or we are going to fetch the data or the request, your, everything that is in it placed in the URL, the data that it, that is fetched from the URL. Okay, now if we do response.status code, as you know, if we have a proper status code, that will be 200, that is without any error. So there we are going to do is response.json okay so what i'm going to do now is let's print what we get in the data and then we are we will proceed forward okay but before that i think let's define the else method as well so in case of the else method what we will have is we will just print that there is an error we can save this and we can run the Python script. Python script.py. Okay, so there is an error. I think I'm going to. I made a very tiny mistake in this case. Oh, there was a. There was a. It's try equals. It's wrong actually. Okay, so we have to add things up and let's try and run the script. So we will go with Python script.py and the name of the city is Bamberg, where I live. And there you go, you have, we have some descriptions. I mean, this is all the data that is being fetched. So if it's some other city, then there will be a diff some different data as well. So what we are going to focus on mainly are these things from as you can see from this weather, 
we need the description, which is overcast clouds. This is one thing that we want. And another thing that we want to take from this main is the temperature. But as you can see, the temperature here is showing the Kelvin value. So we can convert it and make it into a degree Celsius as well. So well, let's try that now. Let's go to the script again. Now, what we can do is we can take off this print. We won't be needing this. Okay. So from the data, let's have weather. And as this weather was an array, so we're going to have, I'm going for a zero. And we want the description from it. Okay, this is one thing. And the other one is the temperature. Is the temperature. We are going to fetch the data of the temperature from this will be main and inside main we are going to access temp. Okay. And as I said that the value is in Kelvin. If you know the conversion of Kelvin, it's something like 273.15, but let's just keep it in round figures. So let's subtract 273 Kelvin. So this will give the value of Celsius. So in this case, what I'm going to do is print first weather. Here we will have the value of this weather. And another print, we are going to have temperature then the temperature variable the value. After that, as I said, that we want the, the degree Celsius. So write the weights written. We will have degree sign. That is degree Celsius. It will be C stands for Celsius. So basically that's the whole code. What we can do right now is save it, close it, and let's try and run the Python script again. This time let's try another city, which is maybe Munich. There you go. So, it's giving us a value of 3 point something degrees Celsius, and the weather is overcast clouds. And if you maybe try in some other cities of the world, in some other country as well, so maybe as I live in Europe, let's try Paris. So let's go with Paris, France. So this is the temperature of Paris. So yeah, basically, that's basically it for the video. I think I'm going to bring myself back. So, okay, so basically that's it for the video. I hope you've enjoyed it. And if you did smash that like button, this, this is a very short video, very simple code, Python code. Maybe you can have take into GUI for it. You might also use it in bigger applications. Maybe if you if you want to have a front end with it, you, you can use this API and fetch the data, render the data in the front end with HTML, CSS, however you want. So yeah, that's basically a uh, start. You can copy this code, do, do the things. I'm going to leave the link, the code source code down in the description below as well. And as well as that, I'm going. To also, I'm also going to leave the link of the weather API, like from where you can go and subscribe, get your API keys. That link also down in the description below. So that will come in handy for you. So basically, that's all for today. And I'm going to leave, and I will see you in the next video. So till then, goodbye.